YouTube, how the devil are you doing? It's Cool King checking in again. I hope that you are fine and dandy. So today, I'm gonna to look at something that was sent to me quite some time ago now. A company reached out to me, the DIY Watch Club. I did show this on the Friday shows when it arrived, and they asked me if I wanted to take a look at one of their watch kits. I've never done anything like this before. I am interested in it. I wouldn't say that I'm a watchmaker by any stretch of the imagination. So I said, yes, I will. So they told me to go on their website and pick a watch that I liked. So I picked two or three, sent them them, and said, just choose whatever you want, because I'm not too forced to just want to have a go at one so the one that they then chose for me was the blue skeleton mosel watch which is inside here and they said that nobody's ever done that on a bit of a video or shown what it looks like or anything like that so they sent that one so without further ado let's have a look at what's inside the box So in the box we get this sort of tool folio type thing and we shall open it up and look at it one side at a time. So on this side we have all the tools that we're going to need, some bits of things that I don't really know what they are if I'm completely honest with you. Lots of pockets with important bits in, so we've got some finger cots, some sticky putty there, there's a little tool in there for fingering our hand depth gauge type things. We have the strap, we have more bits of tools like the watch back opener, an air blower, and our loop magnifying glass. On this side, we have the cards, DIY watch club with instructions of how we register what we need. We have a phone stand, because there are videos online to show us how to make this watch, which I will need. We have the actual watch parts here. We've got the case, the movement, the dial, and the hands at the bottom here and then last but not least we have a nice leather mat to uh, protect everything when we put it on our desk i suppose we best get start making this watch now haven't we
Right, so there we have it. I have done it. It's taken me about an hour to do it. I watched the videos doing it. It's a very enjoyable process. Not a watchmaker. The video is very um, self-explanatory. It's very easy to follow. And I'm really impressed with the, uh, the way that this has turned out. So the movement that's inside it is uh, a myota movement. Doesn't really mean much to me. As I say, I'm not a watch person, but it's made by Citizen. So I know that brand, I know they're decent watches. So it's nice to know that it's genuine sort of decent parts going into it. The, the strap's got a um, quick release thing on it, which is really handy, really good. And you get all the tools to do it. It's been, it's been really good actually. I, will, I have read um, from watch gurus if you like that have done this and said that you can buy the parts yourself and this is a bit cheaper to do but i'm assuming that they've got all the tools they haven't got the know-how to follow the videos and everything like that so i think this was 258 dollars if i'm not mistaken uh, with free shipping to me personally i like that this is something now i'm going to say it's heirloom quality i may be wrong but it's a really nice watch that I've made myself. It's a bit of a story, a bit of a one-off type piece, if you like. You can buy other bits. So if I wanted different color fingers on it, for example, I can go on DIY Watch Club, purchase a different color set of fingers or different style of fingers, take the watch part again and put them on. I can also do that, obviously, when I'm ordering the watch, so I can change little bits and bats. So it is a completely and utterly DIY watch making experience. Genuinely, I'm really impressed with, with that. There was a little point in it where you, because you put the fingers on it, I've done a little time-lapse video, hopefully that's worked, but the little point where you put in the hour hand on and the minute finger, to get the minute finger on, uh, I found that a little bit tricky. I watched the clip on the video two or three times, used all the tools, and finally got there in the end very impressed with it hopefully uh, that's given you a little bit of an insight as to to what's involved in this what it's all about it's a very nice idea i do like it if you want to have a play with making your own watch then i would recommend it i'm already thinking i might change the strap for no specific reason it's a nice strap there's nothing wrong with it it's nice leather you can smell the genuine leather i've just not had a leather strap for a very long time so i might fancy uh, something a little bit different they do do parachute parachute sort of webbing type straps as well again if you went through the process of ordering your own bits and bats to make the watch then you could choose whatever strap you want different colors different faces different movements different styles as i say this was the the mosel with the silver case the blue dial and it's the skeleton version and it is fantastic i don't know if i showed the back i love it I can hear it self-winding as I'm wiggling it there as well. Very enjoyable process. Some people say two hours. Like I said, I did it in just over an hour and I have absolutely no knowledge with anything like this. So for a complete beginner, I suppose, uh, it's not a bad time and it's a very nice watch to, uh, to boot as well. I've actually got a wedding coming up soon where I am wearing a blue tweed suit. This will be perfect anyway thanks for watching if you have any questions put them down below i should get back to you as soon as i possibly can see you on the next one